Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden, we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. An ounce of action is worth a ton of theory. This is what NASA's James Webb Telescope has taught us. And this new pair of eyes has accelerated humanity into nooks and crannies of the universe helping us adopt new perspectives and also banishing a few others. Yes, the Big Bang Theory is one of the most widely accepted fragments of science and lays the foundation for what we call today the universe. But as technology has advanced, some of these fundamentals have started breaking apart. Brace yourselves as we get into the findings of NASA's James Webb Telescope, which proved that the Big Bang Theory is wrong. For all space lovers, the images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope are beautifully awe-inspiring. But for astronomers and cosmologists, these images turn out to be extremely surprising. Or in other words, shocking. Well, one of the most vital questions that revolve around the scientific world is, why do the JWST's images cause panic among cosmologists? And what theories, predictions are these images contradicting? According to Eric J. Lerner, the images captured by the James Webb Telescope repeatedly contradict the Big Bang hypothesis that the universe began 14 billion years ago in a hot, dense state and has been expanding ever since. Well, since the hypothesis has been defended by scientists who consider it to be an unquestionable truth, the new data received called theorists to panic. This is what Alison Kirkpatrick, an astronomer at the University of Kansas in Lawrence said. Right now, I find myself lying awake at 3 in the morning and wondering if everything I've done is wrong. Well, galaxies that are considered to be too small, smooth, old and too numerous are completely incompatible with the Big Bang hypothesis. Imagine that the universe is expanding, but the statement requires the existence of a strange optical illusion. When it comes to galaxies or any other objects in expanding space, they do not continue to look smaller and smaller with increasing distance. Scientists say that these galaxies start looking larger beyond a certain point as their light is supposed to have left them when they initially were closer to us. Well, this is indeed in sharp contrast to ordinary non-expanding space where objects are seen smaller in proportion to their distance. The galaxies shown by the JWST are just the same size as the galaxies close to us, leading us to assume that the universe is not expanding and redshift is proportional to distance. As per the findings of the JWST, the galaxies with greater luminosity and mass than the Milky Way galaxy appear to be two to three times smaller in size than the images observed with the Hubble Space Telescope. Big Bang theorists have known with the help of the HST images that the assumptions made by them require the existence of tiny, ultra-dense galaxies. But this is where JWST has made things far more problematic. The same theorists have also speculated that tiny galaxies grow up into present-day galaxies by colliding or merging. Well, with few or no mergers, there isn't any way that supports how tiny galaxies could grow to be a hundred times bigger. This makes us sure that these galaxies were not tiny to start with. And so the optical illusion that had been predicted from the expanding universe hypothesis does not exist. With that, no illusion refers to no expansion. The illusion is indeed an inevitable component or simply an unavoidable prediction from expansion. This has caused panic among the supporters of the Big Bang Theory. In short, tiny and smooth galaxies refer to no expansion and thus no Big Bang. One of the most important issues relating to the Big Bang Theory is that this theory depends very strongly on Einstein's theory of general relativity, which combines nuclear and particle physics and all the other physical laws to describe the contents of the universe. Well, this famous theory demonstrates that 13.7 billion years ago, there existed something known as the singularity, which is considered a point of infinite density. This is where the universe is considered to have emerged. But the issue is that the singularity is not describable in Einstein's theory. If the theory fails, everything goes to infinity and so does the density of our universe. Components of the universe such as the curvature of space-time go to infinity. All the describing properties of the universe and its contents drop into failure. 
the JWST makes use of several different filters to capture images in the infrared part of the spectrum. So the telescope can view the colors of distant galaxies. This is what helps astronomers in estimating the age of the stars. The young hot stars are blue, and stars which are older and cooler, like our sun, are yellow or red. The Big Bang Theory tells us that the most distant galaxies in the JWST images are seen just because they were not only 400 to 500 million years after the origin of the universe, but already some of the galaxies have shown stellar populations that are surprisingly over a billion years old. This shows us that if nothing could have originated before the Big Bang, the very existence of these galaxies is a clear example that the Big Bang was something that did not occur. First of all, the Big Bang wasn't very big. Second of all, there was no bang. Third, Big Bang Theory doesn't tell you what banged, when it banged, how it banged. It just said it did bang. So the Big Bang Theory, in some sense, is a total misnomer. These are the words of Michio Kaku. Why did it bang? What set off the bang? We don't know. An American theoretical physicist, activist, futurologist, and popular science writer. Well, as he gets into his perspective of the so-called Big Bang, cosmologists and astronomers might just tremble in fear. He opens up about the Big Bang Theory, the most widely accepted origin story of the universe. He thinks that the James Webb Space Telescope has just put astronomers and cosmologists into great upset as it wouldn't be great if all of a sudden one realizes that all the textbooks and knowledge relating to the beginning of the universe have to be erased and rewritten. Shattering the walls and pillars of the Big Bang is no different than shattering the modern understanding of space science. But as always, it's better late than never. According to Kaku, it takes billions of years to create a galaxy such as our own, the Milky Way with a hundred of which several are billions of years old. He also says that the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang. But what's shocking is that they are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. He says, that shouldn't happen. Kaku adds that there should not be primordial galaxies that are bigger than the Milky Way galaxy, which is only half a billion years old. Kaku warns that something is wrong, and of course, as per the findings of the James Webb Telescope, we might have to revise our theory on the creation of the universe. This means that humanity will have to start from the beginning but with the help of powerful telescopes and advanced technologies. This might turn out to be less complex than before. The life expectancy of supermassive stars is just about 2 million years, which can be considered as a little blink of an eye as per the cosmic timescale. However, it is also believed that globular clusters existed until almost 2 billion years ago, and they may also disclose more interesting signs of the enormous stars they once harbored. Michio Kaku has his explanation for this, and it has all to do with black holes. Black holes are integral components of the universe, and several studies suggest that these elements might play a major role in the commencement of the universe. As we get into the findings, he says that they are not baby galaxies at all, and that they are monstrous black holes. He also says that this has led to baffling scientists just because they don't fit into the normal sequence of the birth of a galaxy. In his personal opinion, humanity is eyeing monster black holes where several new laws of physics are emerging. The James Webb Telescope has shed light on some shocking discoveries leading us to question all that we knew about the universe's beginning. The telescope awaits more discoveries leading to more findings, speculations, and even forming new theories. There's a chance that the Big Bang Theory is not accurate and that the universe's beginning sparked from something far more interesting than an explosion. What do you think about the Big Bang Theory? Is it based on facts or is it just a thread of false predictions? Well, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe so that we can entertain you with more new videos.